Developing your own app, wow, that sounds like a crazy idea, but you, Matt, had that crazy idea several years ago, a video app. Tell us why you did that. So we were trying to experiment with app-based a solution. We knew head-end costs were out of control. We had to slow down the investment, so we needed to experiment on, on what worked. And so what we did was we outsourced the app to a third party. It was cheap like $5,000. It was really cheap. And you started off very specific to a certain group of channels, right? We, we focused on broadcast only. So we, were, we wanted to make sure that we weren't in trouble with any of the penetration with the other uh, content providers. So we focused only on broadcast. And you focused on third-party devices that you didn't have to supply, right? So we uh, specifically developed for Roku. Um, Fire sticks were not that prevalent back then. Um, and it was a good choice. Customers liked the Roku, and, and we had a great experience. Now, before we talk about how that's evolved and that strategy has evolved, let's talk a little bit about your plant. You have all kinds of different uh, technologies out there, right? We have everything. So we have Twisted Pair, VDSL, ADSL, um, uh, coax, we have fiber, and it is so different between all the technologies. And, and we were delivering video on all of them. And so we needed to find a platform that could rate shift down, could go up in quality, could go down in quality to fit what the customer had. Um, we spent a lot of money and a lot of time trying to upgrade the majority of them, but there is a small group that's gonna be really hard to afford to do that. And I suppose it's about creating this common experience in the end, isn't it? That is our whole goal, common experience, uh, simpler for customer service, simpler for the customer, and it, it unifies our brand into what we want to be. And I'd imagine that becomes challenging when you're looking at so many different devices. We heard, you know, Apples and Rokus and it just goes on. It, the list is endless. I mean, we see Sony TVs, we see Roku TVs, we see everything. It, the list is probably 50 uh, long right now and it's growing. And so how do you manage that? How do you keep up to date? Um, we use the, uh, the analytics uh, to, to really drive down what we focus on. I would say uh, 70 to 80% are fire sticks. So really what do we train on? We train on fire sticks. And then we train on probably the next two or three. And the rest, we just try to muddle through and help the customer as best we can. And so when you're looking at experience, how does it uh, play into kind of your network and, and the network in the home, that whole home thing? How does that all factor in? So we launched Moby, uh, and ours is called All West TV. And it's actually been really seamless when it's gone across all devices. So with a cloud DVR, I can get everything on any device, anywhere, even on the iOS phone tablets, anything. And it's been wonderful. The, the customers, the kids like it. And uh, from a, a Wi-Fi experience, has that become important then too as you have all these devices? So we, we've we really focused on a managed Wi-Fi solution, knowing that Wi-Fi, if Wi-Fi is bad, video is bad. And so we've spent a lot of time, probably the last two half years, getting a managed Wi-Fi out. And we just launched it just we knew we needed to do it and it has taken off price point is is at around 995 and and people buy it they they're not balking it. a lot of people were wondering should it be 495 395 mm -hmm. and we launched at 995 people don't want to mess with their their wi-fi they just need it to work and that's probably the biggest thing that we've found is you've got to be stable yeah, we've uh, kind of a recurring theme of this reliability. It also would seem to offset maybe some of your set-top box losses, right? Um, it has, of... it has, but um, we don't leverage the the video on the broadband side, so we actually see better growth out of the managed Wi-Fi than the video the video side. So what we're trying to do is really slow down the flow of, of the video loss mm -hmm. and replace it with the broadband video or broadband revenue. That makes sense. And from a, a back-end perspective, I suppose, you know, with your managed Wi-Fi and then with your app, you have all kinds of uh, data that you didn't have before. The data is overwhelming, in my opinion. <laughs> there is so much data um, to help the customer to know what we should buy, what we should not buy. Should we get out of a, a contract? Should we keep it? Um, that, that has been phenomenally helpful. So it's helped with your programming negotiations? Absolutely. The, the, 
we've decided what we can and can't keep uh, based on what our, uh, our customers are using. Um, yeah. Has it also helped inform you as far as kind of your next products that you should be developing? It has not helped in that respect yet. Um, that's really the next phase is to see what people are using. Uh, we've looked at different analytics from, uh, we use Calix, so we're a Calix shop. So we've used their product to help understand what the customer is going to and, and that. Um, but it hasn't, that next big project, I haven't found it yet. So. Okay, so I guess we'll have to ask you in a couple of years what that one is then. That's right. Well, Matt, I appreciate your time. Okay, thank you.